he wants to do the tomb with us, so. Okay, never mind. Ah, oh, more oil. There we go. So we got three oil. And you're dead. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to get a ton of oil oil a lot of people uh, are asking how do i get oil uh, you need it for making fire bombs uh, because you know that's the best way to kill all the giants and odins you can see here that the recipe for fire grenades requires two oil which is the most expensive or hardest to get part of fire grenades and if you have enough oil you can have enough fire grenades so that you can always kill all of the giants in odins there's other reasons why you might need oil and there's there's a lot of them upgrading dish different items require oil, different things you might craft, uh, different workbenches require oil. So there's a lot of reasons to get oil and oil can be kind of rare. So we're gonna, we're gonna go and we're gonna show you guys how to get oil. In a nutshell, the best place to get oil is at tombs. I've already made a video on the fastest way or the cheapest way to do tombs, just doing it with a spear. You guys are welcome to check that out. But in this video, we're not gonna necessarily focus so much on doing those tombs with a spear as we are going to focus a little bit more on how to do dooms quickly and where to look for in those tombs to get that oil and then we're also going to go drop by odin's and look look there as well so we're going into the friend zone even though it's a little bit more dangerous to go into the friend zone but it guarantees us a chance of getting a tomb which is what we need. We need those tombs to be able to succeed. So I go back and forth on the best way to find a tomb. Generally, what I've told people is just go around the perimeter and that works. It does seem to be the best, the surest way of finding a tomb, but it's just so tempting to go in the middle and I often do. Now, because we're not farming a resource in the zone, this is actually the best place to pick up blood mushrooms and primrose because uh, we're not looking for like maple or copper and so if we pick them up when we're doing maple and copper it, it messes up the trick let's get down there in the tomb let's start working on it see if we can't find some oil now there could be a chance of getting some oil in some of the chests over the zone but it's pretty rare it's a lot more common to find oil in the chest here in the zone so that's what we're that's why we're just going straight into here okay well i'm gonna eat this keep my stuff low okay so there's some fish glue that's similar to oil in the sense that they're they're kind of often they're kind of you get them kind of the same way okay i don't know what i'm doing i shouldn't be using my bow right now so actually i should use this shovel i just got that's pretty oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap All right, let's see if this guy wants to fight or not. I think he does. There we go, he wants to fight. We'll, we'll, f we'll fight with him. All right, here we go, come on, come on, come on. We're gonna fight you, we're gonna fight you. There we go. All right, got ourselves a little, uh, overconfident wizard okay that's pretty awesome all right i'm going to delete this and this and uh, the truth is that guy almost beat me i mean he didn't almost beat me like i i i had ways of of probably lasting quite a bit longer but it wasn't like an obvious win right and he probably as a level 60 or something he probably has uh you know better gear at home so i'm gonna wait and see if he comes back um, i'm also gonna be up here where i can use mobs to kill him and i'm gonna use his axe to go ahead and get that maple that we saw so obviously this is not getting us any closer to oil but you know that's that's the world of frostborn right you, you can't predict exactly okay someone already may have got this maple but it wasn't him otherwise we would have gotten it so i don't know who who is the one farming the maple so and remember this is a team zone so he can also come back with his team uh so you gotta just you just gotta be careful we're, we're playing we're playing it safe
All right, I'm going to go ahead and start my tournament, uh, just because there's a lot of things out here to kill, and <laughs> might as well uh, go at it. So, obviously, I'm not at Odin's, which is the best place to get lots of resources like this, so yeah, hopefully... Ooh, all right, so he's already been activated by someone else. Should make sense. Alright, that got us some 250 points. Is that the guy that I killed earlier? I think if he were gonna come back, he would have already come back by now. So, I don't know if that, if he's just thinking, I'm not gonna win this. He had a good fight on him, so he wouldn't need that much better gear to beat me. But, it doesn't look like he's coming back, so I'm gonna continue my quest for oil. Which, again, is found in here. I'm gonna kill this guy. Wow, that was dumb. Right, finish this guy off and now we're gonna kill the sorcerer and I didn't do that okay so I brought um, some of these I think I mean they're made out of berries and water it's actually a really cheap health potion it's just a really cheap way to heal yourself it is not the cheapest way as I've shown in my cheapest way to do the tombs video you don't need to do it but it does make it go faster and in order to get oil we're gonna need to just clear probably more than one tomb. We might get one, I think we're gonna get an average of one oil per tomb. Maybe one and a half, and maybe it's a little bit higher than one per because when you do get oil, it's you know it's usually a pretty good stack of it, maybe like two or three. And you get it, most tombs, you get at least one little thing of oils. Someone here? In tournament. It was in the tournament that I was like, who who sees me? <laughs> Got it. Nice. Oh, my own teammate is kicking my butt right now. Honestly, right now, I, it's okay for me to just get a few tournaments where I just hit that 800 mark and, uh, and hopefully I get ranked somewhat, but it's not the biggest deal in the world if I don't get ranked. All right, we got a lot of people in this tournament with us that I guess know who we are. So that's cool. All right, we're gonna get this guy to come. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. All right, that's broken. I'll let you immobilize for a little bit as we switch over to another weapon. And hopefully we don't die here. I mean, we shouldn't die, but I'm letting myself get a little too close for comfort. Just because I want to really maximize getting that whole 150 health from that healing. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to this bow. I'm, I'm actually not going... Alright, let's open these chests. Because what we're going for again, remember, we're going for oil. So I, I'm reminding myself... Um, okay, some more fish glue. As this episode should have been about fish glue, but we're gonna get that oil. Wow, we're getting a lot of metal parts. That's kind of cool. Uh, definitely, it's good for making armor. We're gonna delete that. Let's see. Oh, there's some oil. Okay, so we found our first little bit of oil. Like I said, I'd say the average oil you get from a tomb 
is between it's, I want to say one and three, but I, I'm often an optimist, so I'm I'm, I'm trying to like tone that down. Um, so maybe let's say yeah, let's say that there's a, you get it one and a half per tomb. Actually, probably the red tombs more than the than the yellow tomb. So let's say you get an average of two for a red tomb. Um, this is just this isn't like I haven't done the science yet, but this is just out of like pro speak. I would say it's roughly roughly that much okay we're gonna switch this out we're just gonna eat that about average of two for a red tomb and an average of around one uh for a yellow tomb that's that's not oh there we go we got two two oil so so we're getting it we're getting the oil that we're needing um that's what we're here for is to get that oil now i don't really have a good sneak attack weapon so i'm gonna just uh kill this guy old school uh, ways can I bola him? Oh, I can bola him. I forgot you can bola these bosses. I'm so used to all the like more intense bosses that you can't bola. That's awesome. All right, come on, use your skill. All right, I'm just gonna bola him again. This is this is easy. <laughs> it's easy with a good bow. Woo. There we go, 500 points. Look at this, guys. So obviously we're going for oil, but it's always nice to get some good stuff. So man, we're just really running out of room right now. It is sad. It take all. I don't know why I brought some of the stuff that I brought. I I don't know if I just had it on me already. Let's see if we can't equip some more of this stuff. I might I might signal to a teammate to come help me empty this out. Ah, oh, more oil. There we go. So we got three oil. Average may be higher. I thought it was higher, but I, I'm just worried that, you know, I don't want to get tell you guys it's going to be, because I know a lot of you guys are worried. You do a tomb and you don't get any oil and you're like, it's not working. It does work. It's just some, it's just RNG, you know? I'll let him get the kill. I just want the chest. It's okay. You know what? The get, we're giving some free stuff out. You can't always take everything home. All right, so we got we got three oil, which is honestly, that's a good run. That's a good run. We got some good stuff. We're going to go bring it home because, again, in this game, when you get good stuff, when you get stuff, especially stuff that you need, you've got to bring it home. If you don't bring it home, then you're being dumb because you're just going to lose it if you if you keep going to more and more pvp zones and keep stockpiling more and more good things you're eventually going to lose a lot of good stuff so it doesn't we don't have energy in the in the game anymore just take it home put it away and i'm also going to show you guys how to put it away and another way that you won't lose it okay so the first way you know obviously part of frostborn is just getting the stuff and i showed you guys how to get oil it's in those chests in those tombs that's where you get oil and if you guys want to know the exact numbers that you're that you're gonna get if you want to know the exact then I will have a tutorial video that covers the exact numbers that you need to know uh, as far as like where to find oil and but the research team's still working on that we're still processing that all of that information in the meantime I'm just giving you this gameplay video to kind of give you a good feel so the first part of Frostborn is getting it the second part of Frostborn is keeping it so obviously if you have something to spin that oil on then just spend it. The best way, of course, to defend something, or one of the ways that you can defend something is you put it in a safe place. So that's what our teammates have. We've got a ton of oil. Uh, in fact, I think they even have some more oil over here. All right, so I'm gonna take that and uh, and we're gonna take it over here. There's three places to put it. The first one is obviously use it. For example, is on the workbench. If you can build your workbench, then just build it and then that four oil can never be taken from you because you're gonna put your workbench down and no one can take your workbenches. But once you place certain workbenches, then you can store items and keep them safe. So for example, I can put 20 oil. In fact, I could put 80 oil in this engineering table. I could build 20 fire grenades and then just replace these four slots with 80 oil and the 20 grenades and the 80 oil could never be taken from me, okay? So that's one way to keep items to where they, they're unraidable, that you can always have them. And it's really important to keep some items in here so that you save room for the things that you can't keep in your workbenches in your vault. So of course, that's the other place is to stick it in your vault. So those are all the places to keep oil, but let's go back, do another run. Let's go to the copper zone this time because 
I think it'd be a little fun. Let's go do another tomb, top off our health a little bit, and let's see if we can get some more oil. All right, so we're gonna go to the red rock zone. There's really not that big of a difference between the red tree zone and the red rock zone. I think that the red tree zone might be a little bit better because people need to farm more maple than they need to farm copper. So there's gonna be more people Statistically, I imagine there's gonna be more people farming for maple, which means they'll leave you alone in the tomb. So I think that this might be a little bit better, but it's also closer. So I think a lot of people might be going for tombs as well. So it's I think it's kind of a wash on which one, but I do recommend if you are a talented player to go in as if with friends, um, just because it guarantees you that tomb and that way you're not running around the zone. Wow, someone's clearing this area. There's the tomb. Okay, so I have a feeling someone's in this tomb. So this could be our death. We need to check real quick. Okay, we're, we don't have anything that's too valuable on us. We're definitely more valuable than I normally am when I'm when I'm doing tombs. So I don't want to die. But if we died, it would not be the end of the world. Okay, no one is here. So that really kind of surprises me. But they did, okay, they did loot the chest. So that means they're probably, you know, those people have probably moved on. They don't want to do this. And so that works out well for us. We do not have Berserk. Sorry, I forgot which account I was on. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna just draw these guys one at a time. All right, so we got a, uh, someone who is somewhat friendly. I'm gonna say hi to him, see how he reacts. He wants to do the tomb with us, so, okay, never mind, he's leaving. Which, just so you know, could mean that he's coming back in to go get better gear and come get me because he sees that I'm alone. So this is definitely a little bit on the dangerous side because he's seen my power level. He sees that I'm, you know, I'm obviously higher power level than him right now. What am I doing? That was so dumb. All right, hopefully I'll survive this. Hopefully I'll survive that dumb move. This was, this was just me playing dumb. Okay, let's heal up. We survived. We survived me playing dumb. Okay, so we are going to open this. There we go. We already got some oil. So oil, we're getting lots of oil. Tombs are where to go, especially the red zone especially red tomb you get lots and lots of oil because of that looter i didn't go back and search everyone's body afterwards but normally i go kill the boss and then i come back oh and those of you who've seen my videos before i've told you this before right now the way that the tombs are set up is you're going to go either straight or take keep taking right so this is one we're going to be taking a lot of right turns a lot of tombs are like that you're either going straight a lot or you're going right a lot or you're going straight and right in the mixture so I keep bringing them back to the entrance so that if anyone spawns in, I can kind of see what they're doing right when they spawn in. They don't have a chance to, I can scout them out before they can really scout me out. So there's fish glue. That's a nice, nice fish glue. We're getting a lot of fish glue in this episode. So there's two oil. All right. So we've already got three oil. I think that I was taming down my um my optimism a little too much when i said that you average two oil per red tomb i think it's quite a bit more than that All right, so he's dead. Check on him. I mean, giants aren't going to drop oil. I, I don't think any mobs drop oil except maybe... Yeah, I don't think any mobs actually drop oil. But we can check on that make sure we get that. I'm telling you correctly. All right, I'm going into auto mode. Just so I can equip that and i'm gonna go ahead and use the heal i like to maximize how much i'm healing but these potions are actually really cheap so the truth is it's probably not worth trying to maximize your healing too much oh what happened no well that was not good luckily 
Luckily, this is not Odin's, and we did not insta die from that. Now, one thing we're gonna do right now is we're gonna we're gonna go in here and we're gonna split up these mobs. I came over here. I got close enough to aggro just one of them because I don't want to be fighting more than one at a time. All right, we're letting our health get down real low, which can be dangerous in a tomb because, you know, someone could show up right at the wrong time, which can really kind of screw you over. But we're, we, we were fine in this case, so. Man, two oil. I feel like I'm being a little lucky, but I really just need to run the numbers with the research team before we can get you the exact amount, you know, what to expect. So I'm gonna come over here. Hopefully just get one guy, there we go. One guy, we got our little elite. All right, so he's dead. Get one more guy. One at a time. You want to fight things one at a time. All right, let's look for oil. See if we got any more luck. Nothing there. Getting a lot of nails and uh, take all. All right, let's open this up, see what we got. So far, no one's no one's coming in here and bothering us, which may mean that no one will bother us. You know, sometimes there will just be, I mean, you've seen in some of my other episodes where we're the ones, you know, we keep checking a zone to see if the copper is there and, you know, the zone just isn't resetting. And it's because someone like me right now is doing this too, and it takes a while to do a tomb a lot longer than just farming the resources of that zone, so. The further away we get from that entrance, especially right now where we can see, if someone spawns in, we can see them. Um, this makes it a lot safer for us to be a little more daring. All right, now we're gonna top off. We're gonna eat a little bit. We're gonna switch our shoes just in case. Actually, these shoes are dead. And eat a little bit more. I'm gonna switch to our bow uh, because I'm pretty sure this is the one where the guy just immediately starts attacking you. So you gotta be ready uh, immediately. There we go, here he is. So we're gonna hit fire arrow. We're gonna bowl of him. And then we're gonna mark him and just shoot the crab. What? Okay, something's going weird with my... Okay, we're going to kill this guy first because we definitely don't want to fight two people at the same time. He's easier. Okay, I'm going to bola him. Wow, that was a bad bola because he was already close enough to hit me. Alright. We're going to let him hit us once. Flame him a little bit. We're going to start bringing him back. We don't want, right as we kill him, we don't want someone else to be there with us. All right, we're going to bola him. Bolas and a bow just make this boss so easy. Some Something, I mean, he's pretty easy. I mean, you've seen, you've seen us kill him with spears. Easy. But it is so much better if you can just bola him. And you're dead. Okay. So there we go. Ten fire traps. It's going to be huge to the forge. I definitely recommend you guys wait with the forge on these. They're also pretty good for defending your base. Um, gives that extra damage. Okay, so we have killed the boss. Now, this tomb does not have any chests in the zone that, he, that we just killed this guy. Now, this is one of the things that I love about this tomb in particular is we can see when someone spawns in, which means that we're not in any, any rush to get out. If someone spawns in and they're checking it out, then we can get out of here. Now that we've killed the boss, we can get out of this tomb before they could ever come get to us. So we don't wanna use, we don't wanna lose the durability on our, um, on our blue gear. So hopefully we will just, maybe we'll start using our bow, but let's see what what is, okay, so this is a bowman. Um, but honestly, I think that if I do this, okay, he got two hits on us, which isn't ideal, but it's not horrible. Alright, we're gonna try to, oh, why am I, 
Why am I not playing well? Okay, so we killed that guy. Uh, man, I don't want to lose the durability on my... Okay, we're just going to delete this. That way we're not losing any durability on our best stuff. Okay. So, going to go over here, make sure no one's sneaking. Anytime we're in our inventory for a little bit, someone could have gone in and snuck before we saw him. So, it's unlikely, but it is definitely possible. So, one shot this guy. Look for some oil in here. Okay, well, we got a lot of fish glue. And then, obviously, the offering to Freya does not exist. Those of you who are veterans should know that. And two guys, but no... Uh, no chest. So there is no more chance of getting oil in this um, zone. Oh, actually, no, there's a chest behind here. So we will. Uh, we're just going to switch over to this real quick. Let these guys run around with us for a little bit. See, hopefully we can kill this guy. Oh my gosh, I do not want to die. Not like this. There we go. Oh, clutch level up. Whoa, what? Oh, I forget how awesome it is when you're not max level and you can get those clutch level ups right when you need them. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open this door. I honestly, I normally don't. We already got some good oil. I got the boss loot. I just move on, you know, but because it's a video about getting oil, we're going to go ahead and, and open this one and see if we get more oil from this, this chest. Again, it's unlikely. You, you, you can see we're not getting oil from most chests, but it's enough of a chance that it's worth checking out. All right. So we didn't get oil, but we got some fire traps and I love fire traps. They are my favorite way to kill the giants of the forge. So there we go. We did it. We, you know, there's a bunch of rope and cloth in here, which would be great uh, if that's what we were farming for, but we're not. So we're going to move on. We're going to go do something else. All right, guys. Well, that's it. We did two red zone tombs and we got eight oil, which that's how Frostborn is. Oil is not something you can just go and get like 20 of unless you're trading, which if you guys watched my video on the, the richest man in Frostborn, then it gets some really good tips on trading in that video for you guys. But other than that, this is how you get oil. This is the best way to get oil. You just need to do tombs and eventually eight oil adds up and that may have been a little bit on the lucky side you might if you do two tombs you may only get four oil um, but the point is that's how you get oil that's how you can get and if you do it enough you're going to get a lot of oil not to mention that we got a bunch of other really good things we got offerings to odin's we've got uh blue gear uh, we got that frost sword we got a ton of these fire traps which fire traps are a lot of the reasons what as what a pro is using his oil for is to do fire grenades and fire traps are just as good if not better than a fire grenade because you can use it even in the forge where you can't use a fire grenade in the forge so honestly this was really good loot not only did we get eight oil but we got a bunch of other uh, really good necessary items that's what we need and uh, we also killed some people which is uh, a lot of fun all right guys I'll see you next time